Well, they have done it. What's going on, everybody? My name is Blitzwinger, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a brand new Marvel Spider-Man 2 related video. And of course, like always, if you do enjoy today's video, please take a quick moment and leave a like here on YouTube. Thank you so very much for your support. With that in mind, what are we talking about here today? Well, we've got a brand new update. And uh, I gotta be honest, the reason why I'm laughing is because I literally opened up the patch notes for this update and not only is this the single smallest marvel spider-man patch notes i've ever seen but it's probably the shortest and smallest patch notes i've ever seen for a video game period i mean it is literally one single bullet point and what does it read well it addresses an issue where the classic suit variants were unusable for those of you that don't know the last update of marvel spider-man 2 actually broke that particular suit where you were not able to actually utilize that suit or utilize the color variants for that suit i should say which is something that obviously was a bummer now for the people that were worried and said oh my insomniac is going to take 30 days to actually fix this thing well it looks like you have to stand corrected because it took them less than a week to release a brand new patch and fix that issue now with that being said though of course one of the things that is troublesome is the fact that a lot of people have pointed out on my last video in the comment section a lot of the other issues that they've been running into some of the things that i honestly have not even picked up on which is kind of a bummer that a patch like this doesn't address any of those other problems so first and foremost, I think the one that I've heard the most amount of times is the fact that people want to have the ability to parry using the spider legs or spider arms, whatever you want to end up calling them. That is something that is currently unavailable. Now in the game, if you parry, you're almost always going to be parrying using the symbiote abilities, especially if you're playing in New Game Plus. And people want to have the option to be able to parry utilizing the spider arms Yes, it's a minute detail. I don't think that it affects the game in any sort of significant manner, but it is something that a lot of people have been asking for. But I do have some good news because allegedly this person who commented on my last video did go on ahead and point out that Insomniac has said that they would look into fixing this and allowing this to be an option. Unfortunately, with this patch, they did not actually include that option, which is kind of a bummer. So another thing that has not yet been addressed is the symbiote surge. For those of you that maybe have not noticed, if you utilize the symbiote surge in New Game Plus, you don't actually turn into the symbiote suit. You instead just basically gain the symbiote surge abilities, but you still maintain whatever suit you were wearing to begin with, which is kind of a bummer because after all, when you're going into symbiote surge, I feel like I agree with most people, you should probably look like the symbiote suit or whatever color variant and suit you chose to wear. So it is kind of unfortunate that as of right now, that is also something that has not been addressed. And if you're a symbiote fan, I'm sorry, but unfortunately there's even more bad news because that latest update, the one that broke the classic Spider-Man suit, apparently also introduced another bug into the game where when you're playing New Game Plus, you no longer have the ability to actually utilize symbiote suit takedown, which are meant to be kind of more powerful and I guess dominant to a certain extent, I guess more violent versions of the takedowns. So as of right now, those are actually unavailable as well. Fortunately enough though, I did find a tweet from Insomniac specifically saying that it is something that they have noticed and that they will hopefully address and again, if we go by the same fast pace that they were able to fix the classic suits with, maybe just maybe within a week or so, that issue will be addressed with yet another update. Now, I also did not want to ignore the people that pointed out to me and said that they've run into a lot of issues with the Iron Spider suit, where essentially they have said that the lenses on the Iron Spider suit either go way out of the actual head sculpt of Peter Parker, or in addition to that, they just have the issue of them being stuck always in kind of like a full retracted mode. And I checked this issue. I did spot some weird jittering on the corners of the lens, but beyond that, I really couldn't find any issues on my copy of the game. So if that's an issue that you've run into, please let me know down in the comments section below. I would love to see some more clarification on that problem. And honestly, mentioning all of these different things that have been breaking with the game or have been broken with the game, or missing with the game really did make me want to bring this up and bring it up as a discussion to the community. And that is, 
Do you think that Marvel Spider-Man 2 should have been delayed? I have seen some people mention that, and so I was really, really curious to hear your guys' opinion on this down in the comments section below. Would this game have been better off if, let's say, they did take another year to work on the title so that we could have had all of these things fixed, hopefully at launch, and maybe even have some of the missing features that so many people have been asking for that were present even in the previous games, like, for example, that ridiculous social media page or character biographies, or maybe gadgets that were more prominent into the actual gameplay elements. Let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about that. Now, on the more exciting and fun side of things, this was something that I absolutely freaking adored. So I've put a lot of hours into Marvel Spider-Man 2, probably well over 100, 120 hours at this point. And one of the things that a friend of mine pointed out to me was that he said, hey, I was swinging through the city and I found this hilarious moment where there was this guy who was stuck in a porta potty. And I was like, what are you talking about? Did you play some sort of modded version of the game? And if so, how the heck did you do that? Considering this game is not even out on PC. And so then I started swinging through the city and I found this. Huh? On a lunch break. So now he's trapped up there. Thanks, Spider-Man. <laughs> he definitely owes you one. I'll be out soon. Just need a minute. So yes, I honestly have never spotted this particular moment. Considering how many hours of the game I have played, I would have thought for sure I would have run into this moment at some point in time. Let me know if you guys have actually seen this moment happen. The way that I was able to spawn it is essentially you want to swing on the outskirts of the main city and you look for kind of like construction sites sort of areas and if you see a crane arm on that construction site that's usually where this random event can actually happen where you can rescue this guy from a porta potty but i'm gonna be honest i don't really know if that's really a rescue considering that when the guy comes down there's like this splash of brown looking water and you know considering it's a porta potty uh yeah that's probably a pretty gross situation and my guess is that just like J. Jonah Jameson hates Spider-Man, the guy in that porta potty might not be a big fan of Spider-Man either. So there you go, guys. Hopefully we ended off on a bit more of a positive note here today. Let me know what you guys thought of the update. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video by hitting the like button. Thank you so very much for your support. Of course, in addition to that, guys, if you'd like to check out another Marvel related video, click the link that you're currently seeing on your screen right now. Thank you so very much for your support.